So we are on the road again. Last episode of the vlog, we were in Nashville. We had a really great time there, but it was getting pretty chilly, it's cold snap. So we decided to go straight down to Florida. We are on the Skyway Bridge on our way into one of our favorite places in Florida. St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg. So we noticed the other day that our clothes are getting stanky. So we decided to pull into a laundromat. Um, and while our coach has a lot of room for clothing storage, we just don't have the space for a laundry machine at this point in time. Um, but we do have a lot of space to store our clothes. Uh, we have some nice cabinets above each of our beds where we put our foldable clothes like socks, uh, shirts and shorts. Uh, and then we also have a nice space in the back bathroom uh, where you can store some hanging clothes, uh, but we mostly use that for our uh, snorkeling gear uh, and also our shoes. All right, so we keep our laundry under our bed, which means sometimes I wake up to a not so nice smell. Perfect size to fit all our dirty laundry. I put the laundry in a washer instead of a dryer. So now I have another two hours to wait. So you took it out of the wash and then put it into a wash? Yeah. But the washing machines look, this, this looked like a dryer to me. Which one is it? It's the one over there. It looks really wet. It doesn't inside. look like a washing machine. A dryer machine, it looks like a washing machine. Oh, it's a completely different color. Ah. Well, we gotta take it out now and put it in the dryer. I mean, the cool thing is we're sitting here in the van doing our work, watching our laundry get washed again. It'll be, it was very smelly, so now it's gonna get very clean. just uh, pulled into Gulfport, which is a cool little beach town just outside of St. Pete. Uh, we pulled into a spot right by the beach and I have to say it is so nice to be able to get some warm, sunny Florida weather. Um, it's not the warmest it's been, but I still had to break out my Tommy Bahama. So one of the things that we really love about this fan, this is a Winnebago Travado 59KL. And the L stands for lithium. And this is actually a National Park Edition. It has even a little bit extra lithium than the traditional one. And the reason we love that so much is that it really allows us to be completely off the grid. We've been driving around this thing for several months now and we've never plugged it into shore power ever once and every day we're on our laptops charging them here we have the TV on we have Alexa on we use the microwave we use the air conditioning we use the fan uh, everything's going and it's been no problem the biggest draw is obviously the AC if we have that on all day it will drain the battery down to almost zero but then if we drive it for about an hour and a half, it charges it up 100%. So there's no generator in here. It's all charged either through solar a little bit 
and then while we drive it or there's actually we can actually kick it into high idle even when we're parked and that will charge it as well um, it's been really cool I, I didn't actually realize how cool that was until we tried to go to a campsite and we, we called them and said hey do you have any spots left and they said unfortunately we have no more spots uh, you know all of our shore powers are, are taken up and we said oh we don't need that and I said oh okay uh, well we, we said we we're gonna boondocks and, and then she said okay well we gotta put you away from the other RVs because the, R the generators are loud and we said we don't have a generator either we're all lithium and she's like oh wow and it was at that moment when I really realized how incredible the lithium is so big props to my husband for uh, convincing me to get the lithium because I was kind of the, on the you know fence about it because it is more expensive but it's definitely been worth it. It allows us to park anywhere, do more stealthy parking, as stealth as we can be in this van. Uh, just totally off the grid. It's been awesome. All right, so we are going to go inside the library to do some work, get some of their fast Wi-Fi. And while we're doing that, we have to leave the dog in the van. Now, what we're going to do is turn on the inverter and actually turn on the AC but we're not actually gonna turn it on. It's not that hot out. We're just going to set it to auto, low cool. So once it hits 85 degrees, it will kick on, make sure it stays 85 degrees. Um, the reason this is able to stay on like this, even if we spend hours in the library, is again, because of all that lithium. We could actually have this running the whole time and without any issues. <laughs> If it was a hot day, we would also activate the uh, auto start so that if the battery went too low, the auto start would kick on, it would recharge the battery while the AC was running, while we were in the library with uh, kind of no issues there. And right now it looks like we are at around 65%. And the last thing we have here is a little bit of a backup. We have this little device, it's called Go V G O V E E, and what this does is it if the temperature gets too hot or too cold it will send an alert to my phone so this is kind of a backup the AC should work but in case it doesn't this will let me know so that we can then come out to the van and see why it's gotten too hot so this is our SOC or state of charge and what this does is it essentially tells us how much power we have in our lithium battery packs and there are three ways to charge up this bad boy. The first is uh, we of course have solar panels on the roof that are bringing in some energy, though not the most. Uh, and then you can also manually recharge the car um, by uh, selecting a button in the front that just turns on the manual charge. And what this can do is you can also set it to an automatic mode so that it will automatically detect when the state of charge goes down to around 10% and then it'll turn the engine on and put it into high idle, which is still relatively quiet, and charge up the van's battery that way. But the most efficient way to charge up the battery is to drive the van. And we found within just an hour and a half of driving down a highway, uh, the van will go from zero to 100% charged. So we just had an awesome time at Golden Dinosaur's Vegan Deli. There was a great band playing. We got some good vegan desserts. And uh, that's what's so cool about van life is you kind of just fall into things you wouldn't if you were just living uh, in sticks and bricks. <laughs> All right, so it's that time of day where we got to figure out where the heck we're going to sleep. Um, actually, you want to show the phone for the kids at home to see what I'm doing here. So I just opened up iOverlander. We are 
here and there's a spot here for some free camping wood ibis park let's check it out lovely park easy to walk um what do you think let's take a look yep all right come on big money big money no whammies no whammies i hope it's a keeper By the water. What is that? Like a little like a lake or something? Lake. It's pretty. I think someone was talking about that in the review. Oh is this it? Maybe it's in the back there? Hmm. Um, I don't know, buddy. I see a no I see a toe toe zone sign. Is that what it says? That sign there says oh, toe man. away zone. Dang it! So, I mean, the app is usually pretty good, but... Alright, well, you know what that means, babe. We're sleeping a Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. So, every Cracker Barrel we've come across lets you sleep there. So, no questions asked. Yeah, it's it's always a good backup. We, we've had mixed experiences there. Some of them are really good. And sometimes there's, like, big, loud trucks or other RVs with their generators running, so you no, know, see what we get. But honestly, I like the ambiance of Cracker Barrel. I don't know what it is. That hometown, like sitting on a porch, I'm into it. Yeah, I think every Cracker Barrel has a porch swing. And I love porch swings. So usually in Cracker Barrels, the RV and van parking is separate because we're VIP and that's how we roll. They actually put us in the back. Yeah, usually in the back, because we're trash. <laughs> oh, here. Uh, is this it? No. No parking between 12 a.m. and 8 a.m., that sign says. Always read the signs. We just saw a sign that said no parking 12 to 8, because Chai went the wrong way. Whee!